Hey guys, it's Waffles and Whatnot IG here, and today I'm going to be doing an updated Halloween dollhouse tour. So first we're going to start in the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. Um, it has some spider web, um, a, uh, what's it called? Spider. Spider ring. And then uh, um, another spider over here. It's sparkly and purple. And then, um, you have this ribbon with a bat on it. And then, oh, and then some spiderweb back there. So, that is the kitchen. Moving on to, living. this is the living room. Um, this is one of my newer, um, rooms. So, it just has a pumpkin over there, and then a bat up there. And then this little pumpkin bubbles thingy it has real bubbles in there and then there's a little trick-or-treat sticker box so that is the living room moving upstairs um so this is the bathroom it's one of my again one of my newer rooms i did not have this in my last dollhouse tour i don't think so i have just some spider right there with the orange sparkly spider and I have some ribbon with a bat and then a little box of stickers um, and so that is the bathroom moving on next um, so this is the bedroom I'm sorry it's so dark it's one of my bigger rooms so my light can't like get to all of it um, so, I just have two beds. Um, there's no Halloween decorations in here. I will try to decorate that more, but yeah, I might put some spider web. But um, this is one of my favorite rooms. I really like the color scheme down here. Um, so, this is Sage's bed, that's Julie's bed, and then my doll Lindsay sleeps on the trundle. Um, so, they're both really different. This is, yeah, so this is Sage's, and Sage is all, her best, her, she's kind of, not, her personality is kind of, um, she's very neat, and, and kind of a girly girl, um, so that, her area kind of represents her, and then this, um, is Julie's area. We've got some flags and a bunch of pillows and stuffed animals and it's all crazy. So that is Julie's personality. She's very outgoing and crazy. So got some posters back there. Like everything in Sage's area matches. So moving upstairs this is the um attic or guest room I guess. So, there's just a bed, and then this is Sage's um, painting easel, because she loves art, and this is kind of her art room too, so. Um, but if they have guests, then they can stay here. And sorry, it was kind of a weird angle. It's a triangle room, so. Um, moving to the next so this room. This is the next room. It is the outdoors I guess um I don't really know what to call it the backyard but so we just have some spider web and then a little spider and then a scarecrow which is super cute and then um a pumpkin and then we have this little lantern it's got a haunted house on it and then a moon with some bats it does actually turn on um, so, and we have this little blanket, it's actually a placemat, but I thought it was cute as a pic little picnic blanket, it has some fall leaves on it. So that is the outside. This is my Maybe school not. room, sorry if it's kind of dark, again this is one of my bigger rooms, um, and it's kind of crowded, so. There's a bunch of shadows. This is very messy right now, but um 
So there is a little sparkly bat back there, and then some spider web. Um, and then some spider web on the desk, some spider web on the pool table, and some spider web on the um, locker. And just in case you're wondering, the, the pool table is not normally in here. I just, it was upstairs and I needed to move it somewhere. So that's all the Halloween decorations in this room. Moving on to the last room of the dollhouse. This is the last room of my dollhouse. It is the hangout room, I guess, um, slash Halloween room. I decorated it for Halloween, and it's this is the most decorated room. So, over here I have these Halloween flags that I made, um, and then the ribbon and bat that you saw in a bunch of other rooms. And then, oh, this cat fell over. There we go. And then we have on the TV. I made that TV just in case you were wondering. So there is this spider web and then this little pumpkin bubbles thing that was in the living room too. And then we have this little green spider. And then we have a black spider. And then we have this little cauldron thingy. Um, I actually got this around St. Patrick's Day, but whatever. Um, and then there's a chair right here, with a little spider on, on spider web. And then we have these two buckets of these little boxes that have stickers in them. And they're kind of like party favors, I guess. Um, and, and then, um, over here, we have this table that I made out of a shoebox. I just covered it in paper. And we have this really cute little tray that I found at the dollar store. And then some treats on there. I made all of these with some candy corns. Comment down below if you want me to do a DIY on any of these. Um, well, actually, except for these candy bars. These candy bars, I um, made these from an American Girl Ideas tutorial. So go check out their channel. Um, and we have this little pumpkin from Trader Joe's. Oh, and then lastly, we have this. Um, it's pretty much the same thing as the picnic blanket and the outdoor, I guess, um, but it's just red. Um, it's just a little rug. So that is the hangout room. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and comment down be below which room is your favorite. And don't forget to check out my fun finds video that um, I showed you a lot of my Halloween decorations that I got um, and where I found them. So, yeah. Bye.